everybody and welcome to this episode of Previous Reviews which takes a look at collectibles coming to stores starting in May 2014. I'm Kevin Hickey. And I am Ricky Lima. And Ricky, could you please do everyone the great pleasure of telling them where this video is coming to them from. It's coming to them from Brampton, Ontario, Canada uh, from our sidekick store which is the most beautiful store in the world and the uh, warmest, most coziest place you can be. The staff is fantastic. Mm -hmm. They're the most beautiful people in the world. It's great. That's true. Alright, great. Now, Previous is the magazine that most pop culture collectibles... <laughs> I've been holding that upside down the whole time. <laughs> Previous is the magazine that most pop culture collectibles uh, are ordered out of by comic shops. And uh, you'll want to take a flip through this if your comic shop carries it. And let them know what you'd like to buy. Uh, and hopefully what you'd like to buy costs a few hundred bucks, let's be honest. Um, no, they've got everything in here from, you know, $1.99 items all the way up to the most lavish and expensive. Yeah, what's the most expensive thing you've ever seen in Diamond? Uh, in Diamond? Probably, uh... They ever, like, solicited a car? I think they did a Captain Kirk replica captain's chair once. Oh, that was, chair. like, a few thousand dollars. Nice. I'm sure there's been more... Yeah. Like a Batmobile? No, nothing like that. <laughs> we should get on that, though. We should make our own magazine of, like, high-end yeah. stuff, and then we could corner the market on the high-end collector's market. All right, so first up, we're going to be talking about some Game of Thrones toys. Dark Horse has rocked the collectibles world with its series of stunning Game of Thrones figures. Sculpted and painted with painstaking detail, these 7 to 8 inch figures capture the character of the show and the likeness of the HBO series cast. Alright, so in this set we've got Rob Stark, Arya Stark, Cersei Baratheon, uh, a White Walker, and Jaime Lannister. Ooh, these White Walkers look cool. I've never seen the show. Like, you gotta get on that, man. Yeah, We're like, know. season 4 is about to start uh, at the beginning of April. You still have time to catch up. Is They're like 10 episode seasons. Is it like really good? Or it's is fantastic, it? man. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you should check it out. So these are these are really cool figures. Uh, Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen have already been released. They've been good sellers in our store. The only complaint I do have about these is they aren't uh, articulated, meaning you can't move the characters. Yeah, and they're not like, the quality isn't as high as you'd be like, oh, that's a really cool statue, but... You know, it's the quality's pretty good on them. I mean, the the paint jobs and and the likenesses are really good. But yeah, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're twenty four ninety nine each. These come out on July thirtieth. So, so far away. With these, we shouldn't even like say it's coming out in May. Like you know, none of these statues ever do. Some of them do. So. Some of them. We find the odd one that starts in May. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure these these statues are going to be a hit. I predict that the most popular one out of these will be Arya Stark. People seem to really like her yeah. character. Yeah, she's. What about the White Walker? That looks pretty cool. Yeah, people are like eh, White Walkers, whatever. Really? Yeah, they're like zombies and game, you know, Walking yeah. Dead figures. The zombie ones are always the hardest to sell. That's right? true. That's true. Which is a shame. Poor zombies. Yeah. Poor White Walkers. <laughs> Never getting any respect. Okay, next up we've got a bunch of really cool uh, DC collectibles items that I'm going to go over now. Um, we've got the DC Comics Icons Superman 1-6 scale statue, rocketed from a dying planet, raised in a small Kansas town. Clark Kent grew up to become Superman, the world's greatest superhero, forever battling villainy across the entire DC Universe. Now the Man of Steel can stand, watch in your own home, like the Watcher. With this stunning statue that perfectly captures his DC Comics New 52 look, this is limited to only 5200, uh, and measures approximately 11 inches tall and will be 99.95 and on sale in August 2014 and might I add very shiny does look really shiny then we've got the infinite crisis uh, new 1 9th scale action figures uh, well not really action figures they're collectible figures but these are based on the designs of the upcoming uh, online game infinite crisis Ricky what can you tell me about infinite crisis yeah okay so it's a MOBA Right. Which is like, uh, it's like League of Legends, and uh, it's really hard to play. I didn't understand what was going on. You've, oh, you played it already. I tried, and it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. 
So are, is this going to be like League of Legends, where there's going to be like tournaments, uh, selling out arenas, and maybe like top players? Who knows? Who knows? If we get in on this now, mm -hmm. we could become like the next, yeah, like big gamers. It's true. Yeah. So if they never got a, a handle on this whole mouse thing, you know, <laughs> you need to be able to operate mean, a mouse to yeah. uh, you mean the play most this game. Basic way of using a computer. Yeah, yeah like, no, that's okay. I'm used to trackballs and you know, <laughs> keyboards. Not everyone can be good. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we've got Pajama Party, Harley Quinn, and Atomic Green Lantern in that set. Then we have the DC Comics Earth 2, Hot Girl, Superman, and Batman action figures. These are based on the designs of the hit monthly comic book Earth 2. Batman, Superman, and Hot Girl continue the battle against the hordes of Apocalypse to protect all uh, life on the Earth as they know it. These will be $24.95 each, and we'll ship it on this 2014. We've got the Batman Arkham Origins Copperhead, the Joker as Red Hood, and Deathstroke Unmasked Action Figure 3-Pack. These are three of the most dangerous criminals to hit the streets of Gotham City, and they're collected in a special Action Figure 3-Pack based on the designs of the hit video game Batman Arkham Origins. This 3-Pack will be $54.95 and on sale in August 2014. Do you think people will be excited about this three pack? I think so. Like, I mean, it's got that sweet Deathstroke and the the Red Hood Joker. I think those are really sweet. The the Copperhead, not so much. Okay. Like everyone else, I'd be interested in this. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the Batman Arkham Origins line has been very successful in selling out of our store yeah. the last two waves. But I just don't know how those uh, people will approach a three pack of yeah. figures. I'm thinking as long That's as true. the figures aren't uh, replicated elsewhere and they're all in that three pack for the first time we should be okay and then uh, finally from DC collectibles we have the Joker, Harley Quinn, Scarecrow and Batman action figure four pack from Arkham Asylum three of the most dangerous inmates of Arkham Asylum unite to take down Batman based on the designs of the hit Batman Arkham Asylum uh, comes this action figure four pack with new deco deco I guess meaning decorations <laughs> Sounds like it, yeah. These are $59.95 and coming out in July 2014. Arkham Asylum toys still hitting the market. They need to end it. It's yeah. Gone. Game is old. There's like three other games that already came out. Yeah, and a new Batman game coming too. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, so that's it for DC Collectibles. Okay, we're going to wrap up today's episode with two uh, awesome Kotobukiya Artifacts Plus statues. First is Hawkeye from Marvel Now. Kotobukiya's line of Artifacts Plus statues based on Marvel Comics continues with the Hawkeye Now Artifacts Plus statue. Hawkeye joins the Hulk, Captain America, and the rest of the Avengers in this impressive series of statues based on the artwork of Addy Granov. Hawkeye stands in an action pose, ready to battle with a uh, bow in his hand, displaying him alone or along with the rest of the Avengers Now team. Not much to say about this, Ricky. It's another uh -huh. awesome statue from Kotobukiya, affordable as well. Uh, even though it's uh, the prices seem to be going up again at fifty four ninety nine, it was nice in the days of the uh, yeah. the thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I like statue. his sweet sunglasses for this hot guy. Nice. Exactly, it doesn't look like the sunglasses come off, but uh, you know who would want them off? Right, really? nobody. Uh, so that's awesome. That'll be coming out in November two thousand fourteen. Wow. That's almost a year from now. <laughs> uh, then we've got the DC Comics Batman Arkham City Artifacts Plus statue. Kotobukiya's Artifacts Plus line of superheroes and villains from DC Comics expands with the all-new Batman Arkham City Artifacts Plus statue. Batman's ready to leap into action, perched atop a stone. This statue comes with two exchangeable weapons that can be displayed with ease. Beautifully sculpted in one-tenth scale, this new sculpt ac accurately recreates Batman's iconic costume from the popular game. Batman stands 6.3 inches tall. This looks really cool. It's got his costume from the game. I agree. And it's, see, I like these figures for Arkham City a lot better than like action figures because okay. these are a lot more detailed and a lot more interesting. But uh, but yeah, I think like the Batman Arkham stuff needs to maybe chill out for a little bit. Well, do you, I was just going to ask, do you think that this is the first in a uh, new line of Arkham City Artifacts yeah. Plus statues? Probably. Or is it yes. just a one off? No, probably. I mean, they'll release everything. The game's a huge hit. It's crazy. All Thanks right. so much money. Well, that's it for this uh, round of collectibles coming out starting in May 2014. Of course, none of the things we showed you today are coming out <laughs> well, in May 2014. Okay. But, uh, you know, at some point in the future, they'll be, the future. They'll be available. Uh, but orders by retailers are due uh, 
uh, at the end of March for this stuff. So make sure you talk to your retailer about any of those items, even if they're coming out in November. Yeah, come talk to me. I'll hook you up. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you all next time when we take a look at comic books coming out in June 2014.